Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am going to attempt something a little different. I don't know if I've ever done something from a pattern with you guys by using clothing as a pattern. We are going to attempt it today. I am able to do this with Skylar here because she really wants me to make her another pair of palazzo pants. She has these palazzo pants that she came with and they're just like wide legs and when put together they almost look like a skirt. What I like about these is no elastic. Now I've never made a pair of pants with no elastic at the waist. It's just the stretchy fabric that you use. So I'm going to turn these inside out and try to make a pattern using the pants but I want to make the pattern on paper in case it comes out good then I'll have the pattern in case she wants another pair. We went in my cellar last night to look at fabric and we found this stretchy fabric and she absolutely loves the print. Now you would think it's not like a print a child would like but she loves it. I love it and I think it's perfect for palazzo pants. Very stretchy in all directions so this is gonna work out great. I taped various pieces of newspaper together to use for my pattern. I turned the pants inside out. These have no side seam. However, the back and the front are cut a bit differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the front. I'm going to fold them in half like this so I can see the crotch. And I'm going to start at the edge of my paper because I will have to fold this over to do the other side of the back. You'll see when I get going. I'm just going to get a marker and I'm going to draw around that. I'm actually going to use a highlighter which I'm quite sure is watercolor in case I touch the pants. I won't ruin them. I'm going to make these a little bit bigger in the body and the upper leg and I am going to draw including the seam allowance. So I'm just going to go out and trace around here. I'm going to get a little bit wider here and there. And that's going to go like that. And the hem at the bottom. Now this line here is going to go up and it will continue to go up for the back of the pants. So I'm just going to fold this back for right now. And I'm just going to guesstimate that it's going up at a curve like maybe like to there, including the seam allowance. Now I'm going to, oh, I'm going to make a mark here so I know where my center point is. Now I'm going to take the pants and I'm going to fold them in half with the back side out because the crotch is longer. I'm going to line that up with my center mark and down there you can see that the crotch is longer for the back. That gives us butt room. So now this curve I'm going to just continue it to about there and I'm being a little bit more generous with the seam allowance here and here and then I'm just going to go down like that and across. And that, which you cannot see but I can, is the pattern for one entire leg. I will need to cut two of those and then I will sew the front and back crotch. But let me cut the pattern out first and I'll show you what it looks like. This is what we have. It's going to be a very wide pant leg at the bottom, like a bell almost. The crotch looks very short, but that's because we have to add a waistband. The long crotch area is the back, the short crotch area is the front. Now I'm going to put two pieces of fabric together, right sides together, and I'm going to cut this out. My fabric happens to be 60 inches wide, so I just was able to fold it over. I want the stretch going in the direction of the width of the leg. This does stretch in all four directions, but it's a little bit stretchier in this direction. So these are my salvage edges. Usually you want the salvage to go like the length of the pants. I did put a few pins. A lot of people use weights and I really like that idea and you can just use you know big heavy washers or whatever that you can get at Home Depot and that just holds your paper down and many just cut with a rotary cutter by hand without a ruler. I'm just going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut out these two pieces at once.
And now I have my two pieces. I'm going to take the pattern off, but I'm going to take the pin out and I'm going to go ahead and pin. This is the back crotch. And I'm just going to put a couple pins there to hold that in place. Take the other pins out. And I'm going to do the same for the front of the crotch. Now I get to save this in case this works out. And if I need to make adjustments, I'll just adjust right here on the pattern. I am just going to go zigzag stitch on the front crotch and the back crotch. I am sewing off camera because I want to uh, save my time with all the editing. So I just uh, zigzagged on the both the front and the back crotch. Now I'm going to open this up and remember, this crotch looks very short because we are adding a waistband. In the way, I would have rather just, you know, made the pants longer and put an elastic, but then it's kind of cool to try it without an elastic. So you can make pants without an elastic. Stretch pants, anyway. Now I'm just going to match up the crotch, front and back. Just going to sew up one leg all the way down the other side. But what I generally do is... I start right at the crotch and I go down one side and then I go back to the crotch and I go down the other side. That way I know that my crotch is going to match up. Zigzag stitch. So now we have what looks like hip huggers and you can see the back is longer than the front which is what we want. Now I have to study these pants because I've never made a pair of pants like this. Obviously, I want the stretch in this direction. I guess I'm going to just cut a band. This band is folded over, so it's, you know, the same on both sides. So it is measuring about three and a quarter. I'm going to double that for six and a half inches. I'm going to allow a quarter of an inch seam allowance on each side, so I'm going to add another half an inch. So that brings me to seven inches, and I'm just going to make it as wide as I need for here. So I'm just going to bring this up together and I'm just going to measure like on a curve a little bit. We're looking at about 14 and a half, actually about 14 and a quarter. So I'm going to cut a strip 14 and a half to allow for seam allowance by seven. And I'm going to turn that into a tube and attach it. Let me show you that as I get to it. I think I misspoke. I think I said 14 and a half. I need to double that because the band goes all the way around. My granddaughter does not have a 14 inch waist. So I'm going to cut 28 inches around by seven inches and you want your strip to be this way stretchy. The salvage is here. I'm cutting toward the salvage. And I don't want to waste, so I'm going to move this a little bit. Okay, in this case, I am cutting 14 inches because it's folded. Put this under here. And I'm just going to fold this again. I'm just going to straighten off one end. That'll be close enough. Now what I'm going to do is flip this in this direction, right sides together, and I'm just going to sew on the side seam. So now I have a ring, a tube I should say, and then I'm assuming I'm just going to attach that to the top of the pants. Easy as that. If this works, I'm going to be super excited. So I'm going to match up the uh, seam. Okay, how am I doing this? Oh yeah, i got to fold this. Let's turn it this way, and then fold it down. I could, if I wanted to, go stitch with a zigzag stitch all the way around this bottom hem, just to make it easier to attach to there. So I'm gonna go do that. I used zigzag, and I did stretch a little bit while sewing, just because I wanna make sure that, you know, there's plenty of stretchability to this piece. Now I'm going to match Let's see, should I see first if it's going to fit? I guess I should, shouldn't I? You know what, I'm just gonna make it fit. I'm sure it's close enough. So I'm going to um, 
would help if I was under the camera. I'm going to leave the pants inside out and then I'm going to take the back seam of the um, band and I'm going to match it up to the back of the pants and then I'm just going to sew that together and then when that flips up that will be the right way zigzag stitch. First of all, I absolutely love the print of these pants. This looks like it might fit her better, but my only boo-boo is, for some reason, when I sewed the tube together, it, you know, it wasn't, um, how do I say it? I must have been pulling on one side more than the other, so it doesn't, like, really lay flat. But I don't think that's going to bother her. Let me back up a little bit. I don't know how to explain to you, but the ones she has, this lies flat. This, I can tell it, it wants to twist inside a little bit. But if that doesn't bother her in how it feels, that's fine. If it bothers her, I can always take it apart and try again. But these look good. And I am not hemming the bottom at all yet. I'm going to have her try those on. And then if, you know, they're the right length, I will turn them, you know, once and do a zigzag. I don't know if I can get her to model them. I will try my best. I couldn't leave it as it was. I did not like that it was kind of twisted in the waistband. I started seam ripping, but instead of seam ripping all those gazillion zigzag stitches, I just trimmed the band off the pants. I was a little bit generous with the seam allowance, so hopefully this will still all work. Um, now I'm starting again, and now I'm going to actually pin in several places just so I know that I'm, you know, keeping it even with the stretchiness. And then I will still go and sew all around that raw edge, and then I'm going to make sure the band is flat before I attach it to the pants again. The waistband is laying nice and flat this time. See, it's the first time I ever do this, so it didn't even dawn on me to check for that. And what I did is, this is the, um, the seam that I'm matching up to the back crotch, and I'm folding it, and I do mark it with a pin, and I'm going to use a safety pin because I stabbed myself so bad with one of the stinking pins on there. That's why I'm not much for pinning. I'm just going to mark it here, so that's the halfway point of the front. I'm going to make sure that that matches up to the front crotch seam. We have a perfectly flat waistband. No twisting. So incredibly excited. I'm going to try to get her to model them. Skylar agreed to a couple of still shots, but she was not up to doing a fashion show on video yet. We'll get her there. The pants are great. You are seeing them unhemmed, so they are long for her. I have since hemmed them, and they are just about as perfect as pants can get. I just love this no elastic waist. I also want to make her some shorts like this with that kind of a waistband. She loves them. She was very excited about them. That is all I care about. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't yet. We've been getting a lot of new subbies. It's very exciting.